Right guys, so moving on to set number three. This, in my opinion, is one of the shorter and sweeter sets. The only problem is you need to get the logic behind it. The logic actually is quite simple. If you get the logic, the set would have been one of the sitters and you could have solved all five in probably about five to six minutes. That's how simple it was. So let's take a look at what is happening in this particular question. We are basically saying that, uh, so we have, uh, we have, three types of people uh, and these are in, a, in an island there are they are uh, what are the three types I think we have mentioned over here uh, for example when a liar so liar on an island there are only three types of humans liars veracious and confused so L V and C now let's not worry about what is the meaning of them just that there are three types let's understand that now it is mentioned that any two if they shake hands they will become the third category if the initial two are from two different categories. So if L shake hands with V, they will both. So one L and one V shake hands, they will both become C. So if one L and one V shake hands, there will be two C's that are going to be formed. However, if L and L are shaking hands, then they will both remain as L itself. There's no change. So a set is defined like this uh, a 378 it means there are three L's seven V's and eight C's seven V's and eight C's this is the meaning okay so let us understand the logic which is uh, which is underlying in this set so if I have a uh, if I just okay yeah so if I have the total number of people as a B and C now if I make one of A and one of B shake hands. So one person here and one person here shake hands. Then what happens ultimately? A will become A minus one, B will become B minus one, whereas C will become C plus two. So any two, if they shake hands, then the third will increase by two, whereas these initial A and B will decrease by one each. Okay, that is the logic. Now the question says which of the following groups can result in a group of only one type of humans after a certain number of handshakes. So we are not worried about how many handshakes, but is it possible? That is the question. Now for something like this to, uh, to happen just before uh, they all become the same. So when they all become the same, let's say it's zero. I'm just taking zero, zero and uh, what is it? LVC, right? It is LVC. Yes. So zero, zero and C. Right, so we have 0, 0 and C. But before this, before this, it should have been 1, 1 and C minus 2, correct? 1, 1 and C minus 2. Only then these two will shake hands and that will give you C total. Right? Before this, it should have been 2, 2 and C minus 4. So basically, we have to get two of them to be the same. And when they are both the same, they can shake hands and they will all get converted into the third. Now the question that boils down to is, none of these are very straight obvious. None of them are equal. So now how do we go about looking at it? Please understand, if I have five, six and 10, I should try to make two out of these three same. How can I make them same? Let us say that I want to make six and five same. If I want to make six and five same, I can't make these two shake hands because if I if they both shake hands, they both will lose one. So the difference will remain constant. So if I want to make six and five same, I should get down six with combination of 10. So one from six will go down, one from 10 will go out, they will shake hands. But the problem is six will become five, 10 will become nine, but this five will become seven. So basically when this decreases, this will increase by two. So the net gap is three. So they can become equal only if and only if the, when they are starting itself, the difference is a multiple of three. Let's take an example to understand this. If I have one, four and 10, and I want to make these two become equal, what will I do? I will take minus one, and minus one, these two will shake hands. Then this one will become plus two. So this will become three, this will become three, and this will become nine. 
and therefore you can see two equals now these two threes can shake hands 0 0 and 15 so this is the process so only if and only if the difference between any two of these numbers is a multiple of 3 can you say in such a case only you can say that they both can be made equal so we are now looking at which of these options have two numbers that are having a difference of 3k format so clearly 5 and 6 difference is 1 6 and 10 difference is uh, 4 5 and 10 difference is 5 this is not your answer 7 and 9 difference is 2 9 and 11 difference is 2 7 and 11 difference is 4 obviously not 4 and 9 5 9 and 10 1 4 and 10 6 this this could be possible just confirming 8 and 10 2 10 and 12 2 8 and 12 4 so these three are wrong your answer has to be c let's confirm that if it is 4 9 and 10 i want to make uh, I can try to make uh, 9, 4 and 10 same. How will I do that? I will make these two shake hands. So I will make let's say minus 2, minus 2. Therefore it will become plus 4. So two people from 9 and two people from 10 will shake hands. So this will become 7, this will become 8 and this will become 8. So we have 8, 8 and 7. Now all 8 will shake hands. So it will become 0, 0 and plus 50, uh, 16. So 7 plus 16 is uh, 7 uh, 16 23 so that's your answer option c so once you get the logic it becomes very very simple next if a 5 uh, sorry 5 x 19 resulted in a group where everyone was of one human type only after a certain number of handshakes then the value of x now, now we know what to do 5 6 and 19 check for option a difference here is 1 difference here is um, 13 and the difference here is 14 so 5 and 19 difference is 14 so you don't have to worry about it so a is not correct 5 12 and 19 so 5 and 12 is 7 12 and 19 is 7 not possible 5 13 and 19 and clearly you can see the difference here is 6 so c should be the answer right so once you get the logic everything else will become very very simple now, if A, 99, 100, 102 result in a group, so we have 99, 100 and 102 result in a group where everyone was of one human type. Then, now remember, it is L, V and C. Now, the difference of these two is 3. So, these two can become equal. How will I make those two equal? By combining or making 102 and 100 shake hands. So, I will make 99, 100 and 102 minus 1 from here minus 1 from here plus 2 here because one each will shake hands so this will become 99 this will become 101 and this will become 101 so these two will be equal if they two become equal they will come and merge into your v so the answer is option b veracious right the next question if the total population of the island of abs absurdity is 100 where the number of liars, number of veracious and the number of confused are non-zero and different from each other. Then what is the minimum number of handshakes required to change every human type into a single human type? So you want the number of human types to become sim uh, the, the, uh, into the single part or into a single type, but the number of handshakes should be minimal and the total is 100. So which means definitely you want to keep two of them which are uh, apart by multiple of three. And you want the minimum number of handshakes. So you take this difference to be the least possible. So I will take one as one. The other one will be four and 96 here. Why do I need this? Because then I will need less number of handshakes to convert all of them into 96. So how do I do this? So if I take one, four and 96. Now this four and one should become equal. If I want to make them equal, I will make minus one here. Uh, rather, I will do minus one here and minus 1 here and plus 2 here so this will become 3 this will become 3 and this will become 97 uh, 95 i think a 1 4 and 95 oh this is 95 this is 95 okay so 3 3 and uh, 94 so this will become 94 so now these will shake hand and will become 0 0 and 100 so now remember minus and minus means this is one handshake and here 3 and 3 means it is not one handshake. Three people shaking hands with three people. So it is three handshakes. 
So one handshake plus three handshakes, totally I need four. So I need a minimum of four handshakes. And the last question, after some handshakes, there is only one human left on the island. Again, the same logic. Which of the following functions do not give any accurate result about which human type will be left on the island? Now remember, if I have two numbers which are differing by 3k and the fourth number is some random number, then I can definitely say that which two will be combining to give you which kind of uh, human being. But the problem lies if there are three numbers and these three numbers have multiple possibilities 3k1 and 3k2 which means these two or these two or these two any of them can combine to give you the third. So which one is possible we cannot say. So let's look at the scenario where the difference between two of these three numbers is multiples of three but not just for one pair. Two pairs of numbers should have multiples of three. That's the logic. So here the difference is one. Here the difference is six and here the difference is five. It will not work. Here the difference is 399 and 403. So this is four. Here the difference is 99, 300 and 399 and 99. And here the difference is 103. 103 is not a multiple of three. This is a multiple of three. It will not work. Next, if you look at 177 and 189, this is 12, which is a multiple of three. If you look at this, uh, 242, which is also a multiple of three. So this should be an answer. We need two multiples of three. Again, if you try to check for option D, this is 50, not a multiple. This is 150, which is a multiple. And this is basically 200, which is not a multiple. So clearly A, B, D are incorrect. Option C is correct. So I would definitely say this is one of the sitters provided you get the logic. So that's a big if. All right.